Hey mamas, welcome back to my channel. This is Haley with Let's Mama, and today I'm going to be packing my diaper bag that I pack for my baby slash almost toddler and my other toddler. So I'm gonna just kind of walk you through and pack, you guys can pack with me. Um, I'm gonna show you what I do. I kind of take, um, I know some ladies like to put, you know, what, what they might need for like World War III in their diaper bags, that's not me. Um, so if that's you, you probably are gonna be thinking that I'm skimping out, but <laughs> this is what I do. So um, if you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up button. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. We'd love to have you. Each week we come up with new mom tip videos. Um, and if you hit the bell, you'll get notifications every time we have new content coming out and we'd love to have you. So let's just go ahead and get right into the part of packing the diaper bag. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is the diaper bag that I use. Um, I've actually gotten quite a few different backpacks and diaper bags over the couple years that I've been a mom. And so far, this is my favorite. This is the um, Kitty Care diaper bag, and I have it in the gray. Um, I'll put links to all this below if you guys are interested. This thing has been really durable. It's water resistant, and it's super small and lightweight, but it can hold so much. So this is obviously the first thing, a part of my diaper bag. Um, but if you guys can see inside too, there's tons of pockets. And then in there's two uh, zippers and just a huge um, hole where I can put all kinds of stuff. If we are going to the zoo for a day or something, there's always extra room. So I really like this diaper bag and that's my first thing that I would recommend. So then next I obviously do diapers. Um, we do about five per size, but actually my little tiny 11 month old girl who's actually not tiny at all she's super chunky she's actually wearing the same size of diapers as her two-year-old brother so now it makes it easy and there's just one size of diaper in the diaper bag but i go ahead and put those each on the sides and then um there's a pocket for each of them so i kind of organize the diaper bag per kid so like my daughter ava she has kind of like one half of the diaper bag and then my son has the other half um, then obviously wipes. This all is kind of self-explanatory. I put the wipes in kind of that main deep cavern. You guys can kind of see, I'll show you as I pack too. Um, but I put that in the, in the main deep cavern and then also with my diaper mat. So I don't go anywhere without one of these cause I just think it's kind of gross if I'm changing in a public restroom or if I need to change even in the back of the van, which I do all the time. It's nice to have one of those too. Um, so we use Aquaphor usually for some sore bottoms. Um, it doesn't necessarily heal like some other medicated ones do, but for us, this has always really worked unless they have like a really crazy yeast rash going on or anything. Obviously then we're taking them into the doctor anyways, but I usually just use this when they get a little chapped or even a little pink and, um, it's just more of a barrier cream and it works really well. So we use Aquaphor and I actually put that down in the bottom zipper by the diapers and such so that it's all kind of in one spot. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys. So this is kind of a handy feature too on the kitty care is there's a zipper in the back. And so I can easily get to wipes my mat, if you guys can see. And then in this zipper, I put my other diaper stuff like the Aquaphor. So super handy. So I don't have to be digging through the whole diaper bag when I'm needing to change diaper, which is super nice. Okay, so next I have um, an outfit for each kid. So we all know blowouts, potty accidents happen. Um, and then I usually put their outfits right next to their diaper um, size. Now it doesn't matter anymore because they're the same size, but I just like to stay organized. So it kind of looks like this. Um, so those are his diapers and his outfit, her diapers and her outfit. So if you have two kids, um, that are different sizes, different needs, different need different things in the diaper bag. This is super easy way to stay organized. So next, um, this is something I, I keep a thermometer in my diaper bag just because um, it seems like whenever the kids get feverish or sick, we're out and about and at grandma and grandpa's or something and I wanted to check their temperature. So um, this is just something I keep with me at all times. Um, and then the Aquaphor is something I can use as a cream if I'm doing like a rectal temp on my infants. So um, kind of all encompassing, this is something I keep. Um, and this is something I also put in that kind of bottom back zipper. So that can go right by the aquifer. Um, and then kind of to go along with that, we also bring a bottle of Tylenol with us. We don't give our kids Tylenol very often, but um, it's something that I really like to have with me. Cause like I said, 
it's inevitable that the time that your kid is running a super high fever and all of a sudden feels awful, that you're gonna be at the zoo or who knows where. So I keep a bottle of Tylenol on us at all times. And that goes by the um, thermometer as well in that back pocket. Um, then some other things I keep with us at all times is chapstick. I like Burt's Bees and actually mango is my favorite flavor, I guess <laughs> you could call it. Um, but this is something that I always keep with us because I get chapped lips a lot and it's just kind of handy. Um, Kleenexes because my two-year-old always likes to blow his nose and go to having an emergencies as well. Um, and then I always keep sanitizer on me um, for obvious reasons because of all the mommy things that we're doing in the places we're going with our little ones. So, um, and I put all of that in this top zipper here. So you can see it fits really well. And there's actually even room, so if you need to bring some more stuff or um, medicine or anything else, there's tons of room in these zippers to add extra stuff. Also, I wanted to show you guys to this front pocket here. Um, I'm not needing this right now because I'm not pumping or anything, but um, we have these little bottle pockets, which are super nice, and they're actually insulated too, so they'll keep your bottle warm if you guys are going out and about for a while and you want to keep your bottles warm and then there's a little net here too for any supplies you might need to bring um, and then I just um, just dried up um, with my 11 month old and so I'm no longer nursing but I normally would bring a nursing cover if I was nursing still um, and then I also bring a toy for each kiddo so right now my daughter is teething so I bring this cute little natural teether um, and then my son is loving Chicka Chicka Boom Boom right now because he is really into the alphabet and learning his letters. So this is kind of something I like to keep. And if I keep it in the diaper bag, they don't have it at home as much. And so when I need to pass it back in the car, it works really well. So those just kind of go in the middle too. And they're super easy to get to because there's nothing really else in there. And then lastly, I obviously use this as my purse too. I know some moms don't, they actually like to bring their, their own purse in addition to the diaper bag, but I just want my hands free all the time, which is why I have switched to a backpack. And so in this front here, since I'm not using bottles, um, I actually put my wallet in the center and zip this up. And then keys obviously go in the car, but I also have a side pocket where I usually put like a water bottle if I'm gonna be gone for a while. There's one on each side, so my keys can fit in there. And then we're basically ready to get going. And um, it's super, super light. I can button this thing at the top to carry it more like a handle when I'm just going out to the car. Otherwise, I can throw it on super easy too, and it's just so light. And honestly, it's not that big or anything, and you wouldn't think that I have everything I need in here for two kids. And like I said, there's tons of extra room. So if you're gonna be gone for a while and you wanna throw in snacks, I can literally fit like a whole box of crackers in here if I want to. So super, super nice. And um, this is basically my my go-to bag for everything. Like we take this everywhere. I don't really have um, a second bag or I don't usually take a purse anywhere. So anyways, that's basically my packing diaper bag for baby and toddler. And like I said, I more have <laughs> two toddlers now. My 11 month old will be one um, next month um, around the 19th. So. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this is helpful for you. I hope you guys enjoy this backpack diaper bag too. If you guys are interested, like I said, I'll link this stuff below and you guys can check it out for yourself. But thanks so much for watching, Mama, and I hope you subscribe so that I can see you next week in our next video.